Let's go back into that Elon space. Um, jet fuel, carbon emissions, you know, Apple trying to be a zero, uh, you know, emissions company in the future. What does that mean to you? Let's tap into your brain. I believe that this process is necessary for anything to truly be zero waste and, and to reduce their emissions as well because we can think about production all we want, but there will always be waste. Mm. You know, a huge issue that Apple has to tackle is the, all the iPhone waste. They come up with an iPhone every year. Mm. Well, of course, iPhones have a lot of metal on them, but guess what they also have a lot of in there? Plastic. Mm. We don't know what to do with those print, the circuit boards and stuff. Mm. Well, now this is an option. You can put the, you can put the whole phone in the reactor and it's going to turn every organic matter in that phone into fuel. And it's going to leave you with all the inorganic metals and glasses, things that can be recycled and, and put back into the market. So you know, it's not just gasoline. It's other precious energies and metals that could be utilized yep. and, and reproduced to maximize Absolutely, the because any inorganic material that's maybe coated in plastic, like circuit boards have gold in them, for example, mm-hmm. coated in plastic. When you put it in the reactor, it burns away all the plastic. It turns all that plastic into fuel and just leaves just that gold, just that whatever. So now you're getting fuel out and then you're getting all those uncovered, untapped metals and things that are useful out of it as well. So this is probably something no one asks you. Uh, how do you think, how do you want to utilize those other materials? Have you thought about maybe packaging them up yourself or, you know, creating your own micro company that has some type of resource? You know, yeah, I those? mean, to start, it could be as simple as just selling to a scrapyard, you know, bring in extra revenue, extra profit, you know, because metals are always valuable. Copper, mm. steel, all of it, you know, especially when you're getting it from trash, right? But beyond that, it could also be a thing where now it could go hand in hand. We make natural gas from the plastic. Natural gas could then run a heater to then melt the metal down. And now we're making our own metal right there, too, running off mm. of, you know, waste. So the applications are really just, there's no limit. It just there's comes no down limit. to what do you want to do? How far do you want to take it? But you can have a completely closed ecosystem of just closed taking ecos- in trash, making products out the other end.